Hello everyone, Fraggington here with your first Strange Moot, a one-take beginner's guide made by a beginner. So for today's five-minute quick fix, I'm going to show you how to encrust a statue, or really any encrustable furniture you want, with gems. So this took me a little while to figure out on my own. While I'm not exactly sure if this is the best and only method, it does work for me, even though it takes a bit of uh, babysitting, if you will. So first, what you're going to want to do is uh, create whatever item you want encrusted, you want to have encrusted rather. Um, so to determine what items can be encrusted, I'd suggest you check the Dwarf Fortress wiki, uh, even though it doesn't have exactly up-to-date information about the Steam version. Um, you will have a general idea of what you need to do to do certain things, such as um, what items can be encrusted. Uh, and what can be decorated and what can be used. So it's a good resource to kind of figure that all out without experimenting too much. But I digress. Um, like I said, first you'll want to create your item. I've already gone ahead and done this. Uh, next, what you will want to do is um, find this item inside of your uh, Stonecutter's Workshop or whatever workshop you use to, uh, to make it. And you will want to... Uh, select it to be dumped and what you will have done before this is laid down a dump the way you do this is super easy uh, is by putting a garbage dump anywhere near uh, this workshop and uh, designating the item you want uh, moved out from the workshop um, to be moved to a dump and your dwarf will move it to the closest dump available 99.9% uh, .9 of the time so I've already gone ahead and done that uh, once that's done and the item is secured, I usually go ahead and lock it down, you know, make it forbidden to uh, all of the dwarves in my fortress. And the only way I've found to move this item again in a specific manner is to lay down a new stockpile under it. So the item was already here. I deleted the zone and I added a stockpile. And the only thing that is authorized to go into the stockpile is furniture, but specifically um, statues. So this is the, the only thing that is green in this entire list. So this, this stockpile here will only uh, receive statues. So once this item has moved to here, uh, you can go ahead and give your uh, workshop the instruction to add a new task. But... You'll probably ask yourself, how will my jeweler know to go get this item? There's no way in the game to ask your dwarves to go select specific items. Uh, the game kind of has its own mind, if you will. Um, but there are ways you can trick the game into uh, getting the items you want. So one way is by putting this uh, one square stockpile uh, beneath the item you want the dwarves to take. And uh, linking your workshop using this tool here to uh, whatever stockpile uh, this item is in. So uh, this item is in furniture stockpile 12. This is the small stockpile here. And I have stockpile seven, which is uh, this little stockpile here, which has all my gems. So I have some rough gems and some cut gems and different types of cut gems. Um, so what I do, I still have the, uh, the game pause here. I will go into my jeweler's workshop once this is all linked up and like i said the way you do this is you just uh, create a uh, take command which is this right here and you select whatever stockpile you want this uh, uh, this workshop to take from so this is fairly straightforward up till here well it's the most complicated part really the rest is rather straightforward so we can go ahead and add a task here. So you'll see there are multiple tasks you can choose from. Cut gems, you can cut some class, you can even uh, go ahead and encrust some furniture with polished stones, which you've polished, uh, I believe you do this in the craft dwarf um, um, area, or maybe it's in the stone cutter, I'm not sure. But what's interest us, what is interesting to us here is to encrust uh, the furniture with cut gems so uh, we will select this order and you'll see it will queue it right up here you can give a work order but i prefer to just give the task you can go as you know in this uh, little magnifying glass here and uh, select the type of gem you want 
Um, so I only have Citroen, so I'll select the Citroen. And you can even go back and select the type of, um, uh, of gem you want. So uh, I won't because I'm not exactly sure what I have. So I'll leave it as is. I'll just select the Citroen. And once you're ready, you can just unpause the game, and it will should do it on its own. It can take a while, but um, the stone cutter, you'll see, she is already picking up the item. She already has the citrons inside of the jeweler's shop. Oh, and this is forbidden. I forgot to unlock it, so I mean, I probably have to give her the order again. So I'll give her the order again. She should go and pick it up and bring it here. Oh, so see, she is here with uh, the statue now. So you can see the statue is now inside of this workshop and she will work to encrust it with the gem. Can take a little while. I'm not sure exactly how long this takes. There we go. So once it's done, you can go look at the description to see what your dwarf has crafted. So this says this is a well-crafted siltstone statue of forgotten beasts. This item is a well-designed image of forgotten beasts and siltstone by Logan Nalodon. So this is a dwarf inside of my fortress. It is encircled with bands of well-crafted octagon-cut citrons. So the advantage to having this um, this gem encrusted statue is that you can place it inside of a temple or really any common area you want, and it will make dwarves happier. So I believe this is how you achieve the, these kinds of uh, metrics, if you will. Having a big tavern helps, but also having a lot of decoration helps. So I hope this guide has been useful to you guys. Um, it's my first attempt, obviously no fancy um, no fancy montage, if you will. But uh, I will catch you next time. Baruch Kazad, Kazad I Menu.